Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Kemi et j'habite Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I just thought, why would I be living in Canada where we have two languages and I'm just speaking English, English to you guys. I have to show myself now. I have a little knowledge of it, um, of French. So let me be introducing French to you guys more so. So once in a while, I'll just be speaking those French languages, okay? Those French um, words. Yes, I'm about to show myself. Step forward, please. Get out of here. <laughs> it's not really like I understand the French, but let me try and speak the one I understand so that we don't forget. And just maybe, just maybe I will enroll and learn how to speak French. For Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Kemi. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by, for clicking on this video to watch. I'm sure whatever I have to say today interests you. That's why you're here. So don't forget to check other videos. If this is the kind of content you're looking for, then you should check my previous videos because I'm going to find something that also interests you. And if you're also a returning subscriber, you guys now i say it every now and then you are my real hojis your comments your feedbacks uh you know what motivates me to do my research pick up my camera and you know record a new video so thank you so much for always being on this channel please don't forget to like like i always say whenever you watch a video before i even say jack like yes that's how it should be <laughs> thank you guys so like drop a comment i want to hear from you i want to read from you Drop a comment in the comment section. Subscribe. If you are one of those people that watch, you still, you still and watch and then you are not subscribing. What? What's Why? Why? Tell me. What shall it profit you? What? Why? Okay. So please eh, subscribe. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So today, 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 I'll be talking about something that can be a challenging task and an equivalent task in the life of um, a newcomer to Canada. Yes, someone is coming to Canada for the first time. The first thing you're thinking about is, how do I do this? How do I buy this? How do I settle this? How do I even start to live? How do I settle down? So now today, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how or where to get things. Um, I'm going to be talking about different ranges of things, groceries, household items, especially as a newcomer to Canada. So this video is applicable either to a permanent resident, if you're a permanent resident, fine. If you're here on work permit, fine. If you're here as an international student, fine. This video is going to be useful to you, okay? So please sit back, grab something to eat, whatever time you're watching this. This is going to be released in the morning. So maybe you're watching this and you're, you know, eating your breakfast. Yes, don't choke on it, okay? Yes, um... And enjoy the video, okay? Hi guys, so welcome back. Like I have said, um, today we're talking about where to get things, especially as a newcomer. I'm just going to be talking about how to get things or where to get things, especially when you're just coming into Canada. Because trust me, also for us, when we just arrived, thanks to the support we had here, thanks to the family we had here, who was able to direct us that, okay, this is where you get these things, this is where you get these things. So if you do not have that kind of information, you'll be surprised that you spend so much money where you can get the same thing at exactly 50% or even lesser okay so this is just supposed to be like a guide for you maybe you are just coming or you're planning to come you're not here yet so you just have these things at the back of your mind that this is where you can get these items that i'm going to be listing out okay so if that's something you want to learn or that's something you want to listen or something you want to know more about so um just sit tight okay and listen watch to the end of this video so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is food groceries yes that's the first on the list right because you need in fact that's the first thing you need to get especially of course after getting an apartment even if you're squatting with someone you also need groceries so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is groceries now my groceries includes food um toiletries um washing baths beauty health and beauty all those things comes into groceries for me 
Now, the first place I'm going to be talking about where you can get groceries is the Canadian Superstore. Yes, Canadian Superstores, you can find it everywhere, whatever the province you have. So, I believe this cuts across all of the provinces. So, depending on the province you have, you'll find a real Canadian Superstore close to you. Now, for Canadian Superstore, I would normally see that this is... For me, this is like the best bet when it comes to getting groceries. When it gets to getting groceries, maybe in a good quantity for a family, for a, one, uh, a single person or a family. Now, um, so this is what I would advise. You know what? Let me just list all of the stores. Let's talk about Canadian Superstore. Let's talk about Walmart. Let's talk about Costco. Now, there are other stores. There's No Frills. There's Safeway. There's um, Sobeys. There's Fresh Co. There's a lot of stores where you can get groceries, actually. There's a whole lot of them. But the thing is that, for example, if I have a very good example. I've checked. There are some things that I bought. So this that I bought in Superstore, and then when I compare to the, compare them to fresh food just because i have a fresh food very close to my office i almost time just you know strut into fresh food to pick something that i need i found out that the prices in um superstore is actually a lot cheaper compared to buying some of those things in sobeys or fresh food for example so now this is the thing each store has its own fr um each store has its own strengths and weaknesses, right there are some things you buy in superstore that will be reasonably cheap and there are also some things you buy in, say, Walmart that will be reasonably cheap. So this is my click, or this is what I would advise you do. So you have to do this experiment for the first two months or the first, yes, first two months. So let's say month one or week one, you buy your, your usual grocery needs from Superstore. Keep your receipts or write it somewhere. Week two, buy your usual groceries from Walmart, keep your receipts, and then compare. So that way you know that, okay, whenever I want to buy toiletries, whenever I want to buy bath soaps, I'm going to buy from Walmart. Whenever I want to buy uh, maybe rice, pasta, um, chicken, I'll buy from uh, from you know Superstore. So one, because generally what I found is that, for example, speaking of fresh coal or so, or sobeys, now there's this drumstick that we normally buy for 12, a carton is $12 in fresh coal. But if you check those drumsticks in Superstore, you find it more expensive. I don't know if you understand my point. So there's no one way to haul of this. So there's a, this is the way it works. Whenever you want to buy maybe fish, you want to buy um, some of these things, you have to go to a separate, separate store. You have to go to maybe Sobeys or Fresh Co. If you want to buy rice, for rice, go for the no-name rice. This is the brand for Superstore, right? If you want to buy pasta, go for no-name, which is a Superstore. If you want to buy some of these things, go to you want to buy fresh vegetables our advice again you go to costco so there are different stores that have their own you i'm able to say this because it's been a long term of me I, I i think we're about eight months now so seeing this over eight months now i've known okay this year you get this this year you get this now the thing about costco is that you have to want to buy a lot of things so i won't advise costco costco for a student who is living alone or one man who is single, something like that. Because for Costco, you have to buy a lot of things. Costco, for example, you can't get a loaf of bread. You need to buy like a pack of three or four, like you guys saw in my last videos. Also, the thing about Costco is that it has membership card. So you need to register as a member, I think $60 annually or and uh, a higher level of $120. And I think what the membership offers is just like a reduced pricing or rewards and all of that. Also, speaking of rewards, most of these stores have their own cards, reward cards. This thing can be so confusing. Canadian Superstore has its own PC card. Walmart has its own. Walmart is even a credit card. Walmart's own is a credit card. Um, Sobeys Fresh Co. has their own. Um, what's it called now? I think it's um, Scene 1. So, all of these ones, all of these stores have their own rewards cards, right? Where if you shop, you accumulate points and you can use those points at the end of the day or some other time, depending on how many points you have to redeem. You can redeem those points and buy things, okay? So, my go to for me personally now, let me talk about me personally. My go to when it comes to groceries is number one. Canadian Superstore, I hardly go to Walmart for groceries. In fact, the only thing I buy in groceries, in Walmart when it comes to groceries, is shrimps. Because I found out that there is this shrimp, the peeled shrimps, I love it. When I buy from Walmart, it is cheaper than Sobeys or Superstore from all the other stores, and it is bigger. Another thing that I found for me personally that is 
that I would normally buy more in Walmart apart from the shrimps is maybe fries okay so you have to do this research it's something you need to do for you to choose which is more comfortable for you okay so that's groceries groceries is done and dusted now let's go to household and kitchen items hmm. this one guys for household and kitchen items the first thing i'm going to talk about or the go-to first i'm going to talk about is thrift store mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to thrifting, or when it comes to thrift store, I mean Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji. Now, this is it. For us, when we came, I don't know if you guys have seen the video of when we were first moving in. We got our dining set from, I think, Value Village or which one of them. So, there are online uh, thrift stores. There are physical thrift stores. In Winnipeg, where I am, Elo, I know of Salvation Army. I know of Value Village. I know of Canadian Goodwill. Those ones I know and I've been to before. So, some of these places have, like, pretty good deals. I don't know if you guys have seen our dining table, but we got our dining table from, uh, I think we got the table online from facebook marketplace and only for us to walk into a store we saw the chairs like the exact match of those chairs in value village and it was at a ridiculous price right now the good thing about the way people use things here is that people use things neatly people don't use things in a very bastardly way that no one else can use it they use it nice and neat some people use things for a month or two months and they get they get tired of it and they're like oh i don't want it anymore so we got our chairs also our sofa from you know um, I think Facebook marketplace. Yes. So when it comes to household items, the only things we bought newly that we didn't buy from um, The marketplace was our TV TV stand um, You know kitchen items. No, I didn't buy any of my kitchen items from the thrift store I bought my blender newly. So let's talk about where to buy things. Okay now for i already talked about thrift store if you want to buy chairs you want to buy dining tables chairs um sitting tables i will advise you go to facebook marketplace kijiji or valley village any of the thrift store now when it comes to household um other household items i will advise you can also check walmart and of course topping the list on that is ikea Hmm. I'm sure you guys have heard of IKEA. IKEA, IKEA, IKEA. Whatever you need, you will find in IKEA. Anything that has to do with household plates, spoons, every single thing you will find in IKEA. Now, there's been this debate about the durability of things you find in IKEA. Is it strong enough? Is it that? Is it this? Well, you have to check yourself to see. Usually, they have a show place where you see what the material looks like or what the item looks like. And then, you from that, you can judge, ah, this thing is going to last, this thing is not going to last. Okay, so, for household items, I will advise, apart from the thrift store, I will advise, number one, go to IKEA. Number two, I will advise Canadian Tire. If you have not heard of Canadian Tire, well you probably haven't heard of it you can google it canadian tire you can just write these things down so that when you come in it's useful for you so canadian tire is also like a big store canadian tire is humongous right you can find anything and everything i bought my blender from canadian tire you can find blender cookers microwave fridges and all of that you can find them in canadian tire at good prices and they usually have sales running so Canadian Tire, had that to your list. Another place I will talk about is Walmart. You can check things from Walmart. They have also household things, blenders, towels, rugs, bed sheets, all of those things. So you have IKEA as a choice. You have Walmart, you have Canadian Tire. Another place I want to talk about is this place I discovered, which is called JYSK. Yes, JYSK is also a pretty good place. So if you are looking for something for IT aesthetics <laughs> if you're looking for something for her aesthetics i would advise you go to jysk because it is cheaper than the common ones you know about home sense home depot yes you want a really nice wall hat go i got mine from jysk okay so jysk is a pretty good place so if you're not going to ikea you're not going to walmart for aesthetics you can go to um jysk also another place i would advise you can go to is dollar stores dollarama to be precise now there are things you can find in dollar tree fine but now i'm talking about dollarama now dollarama is where you can get you can buy your spoons your plates these ones and eh, you don't need to go and buy them in walmart 
yes just is is just spoons expect except you're someone who says no i i only deal with high-end stuff but really i will advise for your spoons for your mugs for your plates go to dollarama you can buy so many things from dollarama you can get your bathroom supplies maybe your wall caddy your brush your shower curtains your sponges your dishwashing liquid your tissue paper so many things you'll find in dollarama uh, cutlery holders plate rack spoon rack i bought my plate rack i bought uh, okay i bought my cutleries from walmart so those things you can buy so a lot of if you want to at least for the first you know few months that you are here you can make money and then start changing um these things i'll buy from somewhere else but the ones i've been using or the things i bought from dollarama for the past what now eight months they're still there especially my plate crack okay so I advise you can buy some some of these things also from dollarama they're gonna last you a while okay and then it saves you money because you'll find that something cutleries or plates you'll find one for one dollar fifty in uh, or two dollars or two dollar fifty in dollarama if you go to walmart a plate is gonna be like six dollars please save that money okay yeah all right now when it comes to dollar tree which is also another dollar store hmm so for dollar tree what i would advise you get in dollar tree is maybe plastics okay you can get plastics from dollar tree plastics are also in dollarama no so the difference between dollarama and dollar tree is that dollarama has a higher quality things you find in dollarama are from you can find the highest is five dollars right so from five dollars lower in dollarama and then they are of higher quality yes dollarama offers very high quality compared to dollar tree now when you're buying from dollar tree you find um some things that are not as sturdy or as durable as you find in dollar tree so you can buy maybe hard supplies from dollar trees you can buy pencils you can buy plastic like i say foil uh parchment papers you can buy cling film from dollar tree you can buy um yes spongy sponge that is for washing you can buy some other kitchen like um turning stick from dollar tree so you have to compare um and contrast okay but usually i'll go for dollarama but there are some things i buy from dollar tree just because they are like one dollar fifty cents dollar tree is one dollar fifty cents two dollars at tops okay so i will advise those ones okay yeah I hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you've been enjoying this video so far, if you're someone who is already in Winnipeg, Manitoba, please drop a comment in the comment section. Maybe there's any place that you bought your things at a very cheap rate and I haven't talked about, please drop it in the comment section, okay? Yes, so now let's talk about clothes. Usually, um, all things being equal, for the first two months or three months of landing, you're not supposed to buy clothes. But let's say it happens and you need to buy clothes, right? I'm going to be listing places that you can buy clothes at pretty good deals. Yes. Apart from the thrift store, of course. Yes. So for me, thrift store is a thing of, is a eat or miss. There are times you go to a thrift store and then you find something really sweet. As in something really nice and, you know really good but sometimes you go to thrift store and they are all like oh what's this what's this really okay so it's a hit or miss okay so for me if i really want to buy something then these are the stores i'll go to and the first on my list is giant tiger mm -hmm. i said giant tiger because giant tiger offers um items that are not so expensive but they are also fairly good so you want to buy clothes for kids want to buy nightwares i would advise you go to giant tiger i bought a couple of things from giant tiger and they are good as a matter of fact during winter i bought a leggings for a fair a fleece lined leggings for my daughter and it was the thickest leggings i've bought even better than walmart so for that i would advise the first on the list you can go to giant tiger they offer pretty good cheap clothing at a good rate okay after giant tiger you want to buy something really um in the same vein you can also go to walmart you can find few clothes in walmart the prices also can be a bit um a bit on the high side but i would rather go for giant tiger than walmart you can also go to um what's it called costco yes if you have a membership card go there if you do not have you don't need to bother okay so you can go to costco another place i'll go to for clothes is um for ch children now when it comes to thrift stores for for thrift clothes for children because 
children the way they grow eh they just keep growing so there's this place called once upon a child i learned about once upon a child also like recently once upon a child is a trip store for children but the, this is another level of strip store you know thrift store there's thrift store and there's thrift store but when it comes to children go to once upon a child it's a thrift store but with a higher level okay you find really good like even new stuffs in once upon a child yes so another place that you go to is urban kids for kids and for adults go to urban planet urban kids they offer like pretty good in fact you see them saying buy to get one free in urban kids urban planet the things there are not very bad they are good i also advise you can go to old navy so you're looking for something you can just wear um to maybe you're just starting work you're not looking to buy something really really expensive yet these are the places that you should go to to buy all of these things okay i hope that has been helpful to you so for clothes let me list out the places i've said again apart from the thrift stores you can go to old navy you can go to giant tiger you can go to walmart you can go to urban kids urban planet um once upon a child for kids thrift stores and um walmart i think at least said yes guys so that is it a short video and i hope it has been useful to you i hope you've learned one or two things if there's other questions you need me to answer or if there's any video you want me to do a research and talk about please put it in comment section and you know i will be glad to do that okay merci beaucoup <laughs> monsieur et mademoiselle thank you so much for watching this video till this end i hope you've enjoyed it please if you have don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all of the good stuff. And thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Until I see you all again another time, I say bye for now.